Hey, good morning. This is Mr. Willie in West Virginia. It is uh, the 10th day of January, and I woke up this morning with the Lord whispering something to me really cool. He said, Willie, it's not what you know. It's how you flow. Truth. It's not what you know. It's how you flow. In uh, John 7, there's a scripture where Jesus is speaking, and it says, In the last day, that day of the feast, Jesus stood and cried, saying, If any man thirst, let him come unto me and drink. He that believes on me, as the scriptures have said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. But this spake he of the Spirit, which they had that believed on him should receive for, for the Holy Ghost was not yet given, because the, Jesus was not yet glorified. Now, if we back up a couple verses, a couple chapters, we get the story of the woman at the well. And it says that uh, this is a story about Jesus coming into a, a town called Sychar, and he is sitting on this well, and this woman comes to get some water. And, and she's a Samaritan, so Jesus isn't supposed to be having any interaction with her. And she recognizes it right away. Excuse me. And in verse 10, um, no, in verse 7 of chapter 4, there comes a woman of Samaria to draw water. And Jesus says to her, and he doesn't, he's not real nice. He, he doesn't say, please. He says, give me to drink. For his disciples were gone away into the city to buy meat. Then said the woman of Samaria unto him, How is it that thou, being a Jew, ask drink of me, which as a woman of which is a woman of Samaria? For the Jews have no dealings with the Samaritans. See, there was racism going on back then too. And Jesus answered and said to her, If thou knewest the gift of God, who it was it says to you, Give me to drink, thou would have asked him, and he would have given you living water. living water and the woman says to her sir and i can't help but feel that somehow this is might have been sarcastic because sir thou hast nothing to draw with and the well is deep from whence shall thou get this uh, living water art thou greater than our father jacob which gave us this well and drank thereof himself and his children and his cattle and jesus said whosoever drinks of this water shall thirst again but whosoever shall drink of the water that i shall give him shall never thirst but the water that i give him shall be in him as a well of water springing up unto everlasting life and uh they have some more interaction um, that we don't have to go into this morning but then i want to take you back to a scripture that i found in micah and it's micah 4 and it says, but in the last days it shall come to pass that the mountain of the house of the Lord, that the mountain of the house of the Lord shall be established in the tops of the mountain, and it shall be exalted above the hills, and the people shall flow into it. And many nations shall come and say, come, let us go up into the mountain of the Lord, to the house of the God of Jacob, and he will teach us of his ways, and we will walk in his paths. For the law shall go forth out of Zion, and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. We used to sing a song back many years ago that was from that particular scripture. Now, basically, you know, what I want to kind of talk with you about real quick is the fact that um, we live in a society that thinks that it's really about education. It's about knowledge. It's about information. We're in a technology age where information can, is at our fingertips at, at a moment as far as our cell phones and computers. We feel that you should go to college or university and get an education, get a degree, because that'll give you a better job, which is a lie. Um, and we believe a lot of things that we have grown to know. Adam and Eve, um, when they were put on this earth in the very beginning, they knew each other after they decided not to know God in his glory by by sinning, by God, by by listening to the, to, to the serpent instead of to God, um, they got out of the flow of God and into the flow of humanity, and that's where we kind of are now. And it's funny because you know the more you listen to the Spirit, the more you kind of walk in the Spirit, the more you get into the flow of what God does, the more you flow easier. Uh, yesterday, I got a bunch of stuff done. I finally decided to kind of 
go out and rent a storage building. I hated the thought of doing it, but it's the only way we're going to be able to declutter our house. And I got all the stuff out of the garage and got everything to the storage building. I still got stuff in the basement I got to get out of there and, and get there too also. But I got everything out of the garage, got the garage cleaned up, got everything straight just before snowfall. So my daughter was able to park her car in the garage last night and not have to get up this morning and go off and clean her car before she went to work. Listening to the Spirit, getting into the flow of things will get you to a place to where you will just be flowing so effortlessly in the things of God and in the things of this world because God and through the Holy Spirit will instruct you and guide you and, 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 and help you to do what needs to be done to get stuff done. I also got my finances and stuff done from last year. Every year I have to pull my finances and everything and, and, and store them and get ready for the new finances of the new year. And it's, it's, it takes me a couple of weeks to get into wanting to do that because I got to pull files. I got to go through paperwork. I got to get a container, put it in it, label everything, and then store it somewhere where I can, if I need to go back and find something, I can find it. But I got all that done yesterday too. And I just felt like somehow I've been enjoying life and flowing, just flowing. And you know, it has nothing to do with other people in my life. I have a woman in my life, but she, she hasn't been by for a couple of days because she hasn't been feeling well. And um, she lives in another city. Uh, you know, there are a lot of things going on with my children that are still the same. Um, life hasn't changed in, in, in the outward to where things have just like I hit the lottery and I got all kinds of money now and everything's great. No, I've just decided God just kind of got my attention. And he got it just before the new year came in and uh, he's got my attention now. And what he's saying is, you know, number one, uh, you know, what I shared, the video I shared with you yesterday, that was a revelation for me. And then now this revelation this morning, it's not what you know, it's how you flow. I've known people who were really educated in a lot of different areas and they still had areas that weren't right. And, and we all are like that. I, it's funny, I've been watching uh, Jerry Seinsfeld's uh, special on Netflix called uh, Comedians in Cars drinking coffee and it has been so much fun watching it because you get to know some of the comedians and some of the famous people who look like they got their lives together and what you find out is they've got stuff they're not sure of they've got insecurities they've got little chinks in their armor but when they're up in that spotlight in front of a mic they're able to look at life in a way that makes you laugh and makes you look at things from a different angle and I love that I love com I love comedy I love clean comedy And granted, there are a lot of people that have a lot of dirty comedy, and I just I just don't care for it. I want comedy that's intelligent. I want comedy that's looking at something that I'm looking at and seeing it from another angle and making me laugh at how silly it is. I love that kind of stuff. Scripture says a merry heart does good like a medicine. So I've been I always sort of start off the year watching comedians and trying to get myself in a joyful mood about life and about what's going on. Because really honestly, we, we get too serious sometimes. You know, God says, be still and know I am God. And he doesn't do that. So we go, oh, man, he's a boring God. Gosh, I don't want to follow this guy. I, he gets us that way because he knows that sometimes we're just running around, getting stuff done, doing stuff. And we're completely out of the flow of who he is. And we're missing the most important thing about life. And that's living. You can do a whole bunch of things and you can get a whole bunch of stuff done. But if you're not living, if you're not being. We're human. We're human beings, not human doers. So be. Get in the flow of God and just be who you are. Be who he wants you to be. You know, I've searched and searched and searched to find the true Willie, and I didn't find the true Willie till I found the true God. Once I found him, my identity started to flow. I started to realize who I was. I started to like who I was. I started to rest in who I was. Many of you are not happy, not so much with God, you're not happy with yourselves. And you're not happy with what you've done with your life, or what you've screwed up in your life, or what you're trying to do in your life, and you're not living. You need to laugh. You need to enjoy a cup of coffee, or a cup of tea, or drink some water. You need to go for a walk. Go sit in a jacuzzi. Go on a trip. 
I've been having trouble with my ear, and I went to a specialist yesterday for the, uh, you know, a second doctor I've gone to, but this was a, these are specialists, ENTs, uh, ear, nose, and throat doctors. And uh, I got a girl that was wonderful.